In this video, we are going to complete example one, and we're going to calculate the cost of running some appliances. And they've given us a cost for electricity, which is 47 cents per kilowatt hour. And when you're picking electricity companies, this is what you want to look for. This tells you how much your electricity is going to cost. So we'll start with question A. We've got a washing machine that uses 66 kilowatt hours per year, and we learn that you pay 47 cents for each kilowatt hour. So really all you need to do is just multiply them together, except what I, I want to change one thing, and that is that instead of 47 cents, I want it in dollars. So I want it 0 0.47 dollars per kilowatt hour. This way when we multiply it, so we go 0 0.47 times 66, when I multiply it, my answer will be in, in dollars. So we'll bring up our calculator here and we'll go 0, 0.47 times 66 and we get 31.02 or $31.02. That's how much your washing machine costs you for the year in electricity. Now moving on to question B, this time a 1.2 kilowatt oil heater has been running for nine hours and we're going to calculate this cost. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply the power rating of the oil heater by the number of hours that we used it for. So 1.2 times 9. Bringing up our calculator, 1.2 times 9 equals 10.8. So it has used 10.8 kilowatt hours of electricity. Now all we need to do is take the 10.8 and multiply it by the amount we pay per kilowatt hour, or by 0 0.47. Bringing up our calculator, we've already got the 10.8 times 0 0.47 equals, and we get $5.076. That's about $5.08. We'll round it up like so. You can see that an oil heater can become really expensive when you're running it every day during the month. Let's now move on to questions C and D now on this next slide. So once again, our price of electricity is $0.47 per kilowatt hour. And in question C, we have a phone charger that uses only 0.5 watts of electricity, so less than one watt. And it says, without a phone plugged in and turn on turned on at the wall. So what that means is your charger is in the wall, it's turned on, but the phone is not plugged in. So even though the phone's not plugged in, you are still using electricity. Now let's see how much this costs you. And the question is telling you to imagine that you leave it on every day in the month of November. So we're going to leave it on every day for 30 days. All right, so let's take this power rating of 0 0.5 watts. And if we leave it on all day, we're going to times it by 24 hours because there's 24 hours in a day. And we're also going to times it by 30 because there's 30 days in a month or in this particular month anyway. All right, so what do we get? 0 0.5 times 24 times 30 equals and we get 360. Now we have to be really careful here because it's not 360 kilowatt hours. It's actually 360 watt hours. And the reason for that is because it was 0 0.5 watts, it was not 0 0.5 kilowatts. All right. So how do we convert this to kilowatt hours? Well, what we do is we take 360 and divide it by a thousand. This will give you 0 0.36 kilowatt hours. So it's not even one kilowatt hour that you've used. Now what we can do is take our 0 0.36, multiply it by 0 0.47, because that's the cost per kilowatt hour, and this will give us the cost involved in leaving your charger plugged in for a month. So 0 0.36 times 0 0.47 equals and if we round it up, it's only going to be about 17 cents. So we'll write that down. 0 0.17 dollars or 17 cents. You'll notice that this isn't a 
very large amount of money, but when you have lots of these appliances or charges turned on around the house, it can really add up, especially when they're left on for the whole year. Anyway, we're now on to question D, and we have an 85 kilowatt Tesla. So this one's about charging up one of those Tesla cars. And I found out on the internet that it takes about 75 minutes to fully charge its battery. I don't know how accurate this information is, but I thought it might be a little bit, bit of fun to work it out. All right, so how much does it cost to charge a Tesla? Let's do that. Well, first of all, we need to convert our 75 minutes into hours. Now, 75 minutes is the same as saying 60 minutes plus 15 minutes, which is the same as saying one hour, because 60 minutes is an hour, and 15 minutes, and 15 minutes is quarter of an hour. So this we'll write this as 1.25 hours. Now, some people might really struggle converting from one hour, 15 minutes to a decimal. So I'll show you how you can do this with a calculator. You can always go one DMS 15 DMS and then go second function DMS and it will convert your hours and minutes into a decimal 1.25. All right, now what we need to do is we need to multiply the number of kilowatts 85 by the number of hours it took to charge this. So 85 times 1.25, what's that going to equal? Let's work it out. 85 times 1.25 equals, and you get 106.25. So 106.25 kilowatt hours. All right. Now we take our kilowatt hours, 106.25, and we multiply it by our cost, 0.47, our cost per kilowatt hour. Let's see what we're going to get. How much does it cost to charge a Tesla? 106.25 times 0.47 equals, and it's almost $50, $49.94, I'm going to write. So in this particular example, charging up the Tesla doesn't sound that much cheaper than having petrol. Well, that concludes example one. Remember to read the description below for links to theory booklets that relate to this video.